So, Malcolm, who do we have up next, buddy? I know right, you're so up next. I did talk about uh, Diamond Dallas Page. Yes. And uh, I actually wanted to bring up uh, Eric Bischoff. Because Eric we, Bischoff. We are, oh, whoops. Where are we at? Eric Bischoff. Hey, Eric Bischoff. Wow. All right. Wow. Eric Bischoff. I We couldn't believe he was signing. I couldn't. So, I was shocked. I mean, he's one of the biggest heels in all of sports entertainment. And also one of the most creative men one in of, wrestling yeah. history. So while we were here in the video, we actually um, thanked him for the Elimination Chamber. He was the guy that created the Elimination Chamber. Well, and I talked to him about TNA, and he said, you know, the thing about TNA, he liked, it, it, he made a lot of money. He said, "How did a, you feel about his heel run in TNA?" Well, you I thought, I, I, yeah, I, I listen. I thought it was great what he did. You're gonna see uh, Sean a lot in these. Yeah, videos. yeah, <laughs> we love you, Sean. Um, I thought it was good stuff. I, I personally did. A lot of people didn't. Uh, the uh, but you listen, teach his own. I'm a wrestling guy. I, I see, I see the good in things that people normally don't. You know that about me. I yeah. like things that people go, that's stupid. I'm like, well, I like it, and that's wrestling. Um, so I like the Hogan and Eric Bischoff era. I did personally. That's me. I liked it. Nice. I, I was down. I wasn't with it. watching, so I wanted to know. What I you liked felt it. About I it. liked it. I thought it was good. We had a lot of uh, great. Uh, angles, lots of weird, weird things, uh, but that's wrestling. You know, um, for his age, he kind of got into wrestling a little bit late. I mean, he started uh, doing TV and uh, working with the AWA well, back, you remember in, back did, in 1990. Yeah. Well, and then he did uh, before that, as far as I understood, he was in television um, doing other things. I forget what it was, but he's always been that's the thing. He's always been in entertainment in one way or another. Yeah. So I, he's, I'm, I just, he is made for TV. Look at the guy. Yeah. I'm surprised he's not doing game shows. Well, I'm shocked that he really hasn't. I, I don't know what it is. And I'm, I'm going to say maybe it's because he's asking for too much money. It's possible. I don't understand why he's not working with the company. I don't get it. Maybe it's because he wants to be the head honcho. I, I, it's the same I, reason Vince Russo doesn't work with him. There's just too many creative, creative differences. Yeah, maybe. And but he, I mean, I'll put it this way: I, there's a lot of products that have been out there, but consistently, I can say he was Eric Bischoff had good ideas, and they were good. And they, yeah. they, the Elimination Chamber people thought at the time, why are we doing this? We already have Hell in a Cell and Steel Cage. Why are we doing this? And they ran with it, and, and now it's considered one of the greatest ma uh, matches in wrestling history. Well, yeah, um, he made uh, the Raw Roulette too, which is yep, actually fantastic, and we that liked was, that. That yep. was always a fun one. Yep, we got to see a Raw Roulette where they gave us a hell. No, they gave us a cage match, a Big Show and Mark Henry. Oh, it was fantastic! And, uh, Mark Henry oh, yeah. got thrown through the the cage. Uh, beautiful! It was great. That was yeah. in Vegas, wasn't it? That was in Vegas. Yeah, well, that was the night of the the pipe bomb heard around the world. Yeah, which, which is ten year which anniversary. Which ten years, ten years. We and we were there live. Uh, that was fantastic. Uh, but uh, you know, Eric Bischoff, I just nice guy, very kind, respectful. I thought, and he's a businessman, and that's why I could relate to him as because we're businessmen. And I did get annoyed that he said, you know, I made a lot of money in TNA because I was like, well, but I mean. It's not about, but I realize at the end of the day, he's right. It's about the money. He's in the business to make money. He does. He, it's all, he loves the business, but at the end of the day, he's there to get paid. And so I get it. I get it. You know, uh, but I wish um, he saw his run in TNA like I do. I thought it was really good. He, I don't think he does. I think he thought it was stupid and uh, it didn't work out. I don't think well, that way. Um to put in perspective how big of a deal Eric Bischoff is, I started getting into wrestling in 2001, 2002, like yeah. right there, right after 9 so, Yeah, well, much. right after the buyout, pretty yeah. much, yeah. So I had known about Eric Bischoff already from friends like Greg and then my friends, my friend John and a couple other people. And so we knew he was a big deal. So when he debuted, I think we were like freshmen in high school when he And so as he debuted GM. with the black hair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Eric. Yeah. I got to needle you, bud. You're um, old now. <laughs> but it was uh, the most confusing, shocking moment that I remember. Like, wait, the WCW guy? Yeah. The yeah. guy that ran the company in the ground? The, the one with the, he the heads of guy? NWO, you know? So he just played. I mean, uh, uh, whenever there was a good decision, he was standing by to screw it all up. And, well, and he was a great raw general manager. Oh, so good. He would go and commentate. He would get in wrestlers. Faces. I remember. I remember. Um, 
this one segment, it was um it was when Batista won the Royal Rumble and he could challenge either or and they had the the decision. He walked out with uh, Triple H and Ric Flair and um it was Teddy Long was the SmackDown manager at the time. I forget who the champion was the SmackDown. And then you had the Raw general manager which Eric Bischoff. And Eric Bischoff did a great promo on why he should pick. It, it was really good. And, you know, I look back at that and I'm like, God, Eric was so good at being a general manager. He'll go down as one of the best. Well, he had to share it with Stone Cold for a while. Yeah, too, yeah. Well, there was a, well, and then also there was a lot. Yeah, but that was always yeah, a general manager. There was always little there things like that. There was always like another that. one. Was Stephanie on SmackDown? Was it Stephanie got SmackDown and Eric Bischoff got Raw? I forget what, what I thought what it was something like, something like that. Something like, there, but, was, um, there was a bit for a, a rivalry there that for was, a minute. Oh man, that was such a that was weird good time. Too. That, that was, was good. Such, so cool because it's weird then when I was well, young, yeah, of but course. It's so cool to think about now, like Kane going with his mask off. Yeah, all these big things. How evolution was being born. Yep. yep. You know, but Eric Bischoff. He just seriously. I mean, it was an honor to meet this guy. Yeah, yeah. An I mean, honor. We couldn't believe that we we're standing there with this guy. I'll put it this way: I'm shocked WWE didn't understand that people would have paid for him. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I mean, at this people point, would have paid for Eric. <laughs> at this point, it's almost like uh, 20 years that I'd known about yep. him, and I we got to shake his hand. He yep. signed my title, Eric. Bishop, yeah, yeah, I mean, people and people would have paid for Eric, but I think WWE threw us a bone. Um, but you know, he's gonna go on. I but uh, here's the thing: we're just lucky he was here to induct uh, DDP. In the yeah, Hall and then I think he's gonna go on to do great things. You know, he's gonna keep doing it till the day he dies. This is a guy that's gonna keep working until the day he dies. I mean, he wants to uh, make as much money as possible. He's gonna keep making good money, and it might not just be in wrestling. The guy again, the guy is in, in the entertainment industry. He yeah. knows what the people want. Remember, this is a guy that wrote a book. Uh, controversy creates cash and yeah it wasn't meant to be a super serious book but it, we have quoted that book because it is a valid point in business controversy creates cash it See, does i like uh the elimination chamber is right behind you guys too it's kind yeah. of a cool yeah. shot and you know so we wish you the best eric yeah you're, you're a great man you've done great things that we could see here all day and go over your yeah, accomplishments I mean, but accomplishments are ridiculous yeah long. It, yeah I everything mean, that he's done with wcw WWE. well the nwo too i mean just fantastic yeah. work there and, and and managing it you know he was the manager and you go back and you look at some of those WCW promos they did. Just phenomenal well, even stuff. Even the TV moments are just awesome. I mean, him riding out on the motorcycle. I mean, it was good. Uh, the stories about him saying, we're going to crush Vince. Legendary stories. I mean, this is a guy that actually wanted to win. That's the thing, too, is that Vince wanted to win, too. But Eric wanted to crush Vince. Yeah, he read the results of Raw live on TV. Yeah. Which is just and, like, here's the thing, I mean, and here's the thing. He made mistakes that led to the downfall of WCW because yeah. he hired and that, Lex Luger. What did well, you do and that then, Yeah, and the, so yeah, <laughs> there's mistakes made, and he'll record it. And that's the thing. Yeah. He, he's even willing to record. But I don't. I I stand by this. It, it, if people look at the history of WCW, it doesn't come down to Vince Russo any of that. It came down to people were not willing to sell WCW to Eric because Eric Bischoff had a deal secured. Yeah, they weren't willing to sell to Eric Bischoff. Because Eric Bischoff, the one caveat he wanted was the time slot. And AOL Warner was not willing to agree to that. And that kills the deal. I think they sold it from under him, too. Well, they While sold he was it. negotiating. Yeah, exactly. They, they they sold like, it. I think Eric wasted his time. I think they were always going to plan to sell to WWE. I think they were just stringing Eric along. I, I, If I was talking to Eric now, I'd say, listen, you got played. They were never going to sell it to you. Yeah. They, they because here's the thing: if they were going to sell it to you, they would at least ask you to match Vince's offer, which you would have. That's a big club, and you ain't in it. Yeah, exactly, and that's the truth. That's Eric's all Eric, I can say Eric, yeah, Eric's not in that club. He never will. And here's the thing: he never will be in that. But club. But even when he got the offer to go to WWE, be the he went, of manager, course he did. and uh, he led Vince and yep. him onto one of the best storylines ever. Yep. Um, he still made the absolute best out of and it. And it was fantastic work and it's going to go down to history. Yeah. So, and we're just proud uh proud for you to continue your work uh and we're wishing you the best yeah. luck in whatever and you do, do. Do AEW proud. You've been on there a couple times. I'd like to see you do more things. Exactly. Thank you Eric Bishop. So, for the thank history. you my friend.